they prepared me for not playing again because knee reconstructions back then um, there wasn't too many great role models <laughs> no one really come back from them so it's a pretty scary time I was playing reserves footy a bit in that comeback part of 80, uh, second half of 85. Uh, round 20, I remember I got a couple of kicks in the twos and I, I was pretty flat because I thought it's all over, I'm not going to get there. We were top of the ladder in the seniors and looking like runaways, you know, in terms of favourites. Um, uh, so yeah, I'd given up. Uh, that's the only way I could, uh, I can put it. And then uh, she's picked me up at a gym I owned. I bought a gym that year because I wanted to rehabilitate the knee. Chief picked me up from the gym and he uh, said, come with me. We went for a drive to Gels Park in Waverley. And uh, Kevin said, um, how are you feeling? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've forgotten how to get the footy. I don't know how to do it anymore. And he said, um, oh, he said, I've come here to make a deal with you, which Kevin did sometimes. And I said, what's that? He goes, you know what, you come, you're just, you're six foot nine and you're coming out to the club looking like you don't want to be there. He said, if you come out to the club, train the house down, look like you want to be there, look like you want to play in a premiership or a grand final with the Bombers, then I'll play you in the grand final if we make it. I said, what? I said, that's it. He goes, yeah, but you've got to come out, you've got to train the house down. He saw something that I didn't see. And uh, that week, um, knowing that you know, I've got that sort of support, I went out and kicked 11 in the twos. That was all. Yeah, and he took me to Sydney to play in the last round of 1985. And I got seven up against the Swans and then I got my shot in the Premiership year uh, and I, I've never forgotten him for that because that was a serious, serious turning point. Uh, he, was, he was good like that. It's in the forward pocket. Knocked down by uh, Merritt, picked up by Izzard. Seven, oh. It was a special day, a special day and I had great support from all, all the boys but it was when you get to that stage it's not about any one individual, it's everyone's got a story to tell and yours is just another. Um, but I suppose for me I took some satisfaction out of coming back and, and playing that role um, after such a, uh, an injury. But that Salmon, he's a marvellous player, keeps on knocking the ball out of the ruck or taking marks, he's all over the place. Harvey tried to get a hand pass out to Wellshaw, it's successful, and Salmon's got it right in front. Of course, he's only about 15 metres out on a bit of an angle. And there's no worries about that, that's goal number six to uh, Salmon. Forward line for Hawthorne. There's the Cyrus, Sarah to win the uh, game, and uh, Essendon the Premiers for 1985, winning two in a row. Yeah, leaving Essendon was never going to be easy for me because you, know, you go there at 15 and you're 31, 30 going 31, you're deciding to leave. Big part of my life, you know, my second father's probably Kevin Sheedy, you know, that's all I knew, the red and black, I was, you're comfortable. But I knew that it wasn't the place for me to play football anymore. I'd, Sheed's had always asked of, uh, for honesty from his players and anyone who didn't really want to be there or feel like he could give 100%. It was a difficult conversation with Kevin, but the outcome was, it was done in a really nice way mature professional way, a respectful way that I said I think I'm gone, he said I think I agree with you <laughs> and, um, and he said we'll help you get to where you want to go. To cut a long story short, I landed at the club I barracked for as a kid so um, you know, to do that, to have that outcome and then to, to play 100 games at Hawthorne when you know, probably the expectation was 10, uh, I'm, I'm, I was very proud of that, that transition. Yeah. Very good player, on the summer ball, he's dragged down from behind. Adrian gave me a call during the week and we caught up for lunch and uh, cool we mates anyway and he just uh, we had some banter he said would you come back and uh, would you be interested in having a coming back and having another crack and after the, the laughter stopped and, and the, the silly banter he was quite genuine about Sheed's interest in having a, a chat to me and, and I said I haven't given obviously I haven't given any consideration and I said but if I was to take it seriously it's going to need to come from Sheed's not you but I did it um, I don't regret it pretty hard, pretty taxing, but the most, some of the most enjoyable football months of my life. We got kicked out in the second week of the finals, but you know, it was a good ride. We had a, we had a good crack. Now, the Essendon Football Club to me is, is part of me. I did most of my growing up there. I learnt most of my life lessons at the Essendon Football Club. It's part of the fabric of who I am and what makes me tick. Of course, my footy journey took me to another great football club and I retire a, a servant of both great deal of passion for both football clubs. I think I end up as a 15 year, 15 years of my life as an Essendon person and, and um, that's really, really important to me. I'm very proud of that, you know. Um, yeah, very fortunate guy.